Why would anyone, especially an African-American man, use the symbolism of a noose to make false accusations? I noticed the rope around my neck and I started screaming. How could someone look at the hatred and suffering associated with that symbol and see an opportunity to manipulate that symbol to further his own public profile? They called me There's no which way you cut it. Bogus police reports cause real harm. The fact that we have these fear mongrels. The accusations within this phony attack received national attention for weeks. If I had said it was a Muslim or a Mexican or someone black, I feel like the doubters would have supported me a lot much more. So I'm offended by what's happened and I'm also angry. So they get to go free and go about their life and possibly attack someone else? Smollett attempted to gain attention by sending a false letter that relied on racial, homophobic, and political language. Do you think there's a link between the letter and the attack? Um, and you did mention it to the police right away absolutely. about the letter. When that didn't work, Smollett paid $3,500 to stage this attack and drag Chicago's reputation through the mud in the process. I will never be the man that this did not happen to. Mm. I am forever changed. If the attackers are never found, how will you be able to heal? Um, I don't know. You do such a disservice when you lie about things like this. I think that what people need to hear is just the truth. I still want to believe with everything that has happened that there's something called justice. His associates, the Osindiro brothers, testified against the actor, saying Smollett paid them to attack him outside his Chicago home. And late last year, a jury convicted Smollett of filing a false police report. You put the noose around your own neck. Even after a Cook County judge sentenced Jussie Smollett to 150 days in jail, the disgraced actor turned convicted felon sticking to his story. You committed hour upon hour upon hour of pure perjury. Judge James Lynn sentencing Smollett to 30 months felony probation, including that jail time, ordering he pay more than $120,000 in restitution to the city of Chicago and pay the maximum fine, $25,000. Because we talked about how Chris Cornell committed suicide. Mm -hmm. I was in that hotel. How wild is that? I was in Detroit interviewing Golden Tate. Wait, at the same time? Yep. I no. Was there. I was there that the same weekend. Night? I was there. I was there. I was there. We were there. Dude, isn't that weird? Doesn't that feel so weird when you were at... We were at... I was doing an interview with Golden Tate when he was with, um, when he was with Detroit. Yeah. And we had 24 hours in Detroit to do this show that I was doing. So we literally flew in. I was exhausted. Um, we had already traveled a bunch and I, and we just like did this quick interview at his old high school or I mean at a local high school. Um, and it was like super late. And then they were like, do you guys want to go get dinner or drinks? I was like, dude, I'm so tired. I think I'm going to go home. I go home to the hotel. I pass out so hard. I wake up the next day, like rushing to get my flight and I get to the airport and everyone's like really somber. And I was like, what's going on? Like, I'm thinking, oh my God, did we fuck? Did the tape get lost or whatever? Cause we yeah. were, the crew was, they were like, no dude in the hotel that we're in is Chris Cornell killed himself in that at that in Detroit in the night that I was there Detroit, in the night that I was there oh my god I know I could have stopped him you could have I think about it every day I could have stopped him we could have still have sound guard Sandy Hook is a synthetic completely fake with actors in court yesterday a bombshell from the plaintiff's lawyer revealing that Jones's lawyers mistakenly handed over two years of text messages from Jones's phone Mr. Jones did you know that 12 days ago 12 days ago your attorneys messed up they sent me an entire digital copy of your entire cell phone with every text message you've sent for the past two years and when informed did not take any steps to identify it as privileged or protected in any way. And as of two days ago, it fell free and clear into my possession. And that is how I know you lied to me when you said you didn't have text message about saying you Did you know that? I See, I told you the truth. This is your Perry Mason moment. I gave them my phone. Jones had testified under oath that he personally searched his phone for Sandy Hook-related text messages, but didn't find any. You know what perjury is, right? 
I just want to make sure you know before we go any further. You know what it is. You said that on drugs. Yes. And you lied and you said it. No, I did not lie. Lawyers say the messages also reveal Jones's businesses brought in roughly $800,000 in one day from sales. Jones claims that figure wasn't the norm. Andy claims he lost nearly everything after being banned from Facebook, YouTube, and Apple platforms. His company filing for bankruptcy last week, but the judge not buying his excuses. You may not tell this jury that you are bankrupt. That is also not true. It seems absurd to instruct you again that you must tell the truth while you testify, yet here I am. You must tell the truth while you testify. This is not your show. I'm recording everything. With the fucking newborn? Are you serious? Okay. Don't fucking, like, dude, let me talk to your manager, bro. Stop blocking my way, bud. That's false imprisonment. That's false imprisonment, bro. You're making me uncomfortable, bud. That's false imprisonment. Don't touch my stroller, bro. I'm not touching that. Can you open it up? Don't touch my stroller, bro. Don't touch my fucking stroller, bro. Let me talk to your manager. Excuse me. Where's his manager at, please? Can you take He's like blocking my way, bro. Can you open it up? No, I can't actually. Yes, you can. Can you put your face mask on? No, I'm not gonna put my face mask on. You're fucking tripping, bro. Shit. My fucking shit. My fucking shit, bro. Hold on. That way. My fucking shit. My fucking shit. I need to fucking turn. Oh, some fucking what? This fucking little thing right here. Sorry. Go get a. Here. Shit. That's all it was. Here. Take that shit. Open it up. Not take that shit. Open it up. Open it up. I don't have to open it. Yes, you do. You ain't got no baby in there. Oh my god. Work this cover off. First of all, my science probably sitting here and needs a baby. Can you tell this dude to get away from me? Where's the blanket? You gotta get this other brother. I don't have any blanket. I just put him right there. He just had him there. Oh my god. Where is your manager, bro? I got you a camera. Take your stuff out. He's already shopping. You don't let me fucking go, bro. I actually got the right now. My shit is my not, shit. Telling the truth. My shit is my shit. I here. hear more shit in it. Open there's it up. nothing else in there, bro. Look. Open it up. What the fuck? There's nothing but fucking. Open it up. Maybe one more. more. I just Take got in this store. You bring the rest of it out. There is nothing else in here. She look. Saw everything. Why don't you look? Up. Take the cover Why don't you just look? I'm not doing all that. Take the cover off. I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna snatch it off. Oh my god. Whether you snatch it off or not, okay. there is nothing else in there. Okay, open Why don't you turn it this way? Take it off. And open look it. in this way. There open ain't it. nothing else in that motherfucker. Open it. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Yeah, open it. Oh my god. Open it. Yeah. You're wrong about fucking rape. That's the manager on the way, so. Like, seriously, bro. It's gonna be up to him. The manager won't care again. Nah, man. I'm fucking leaving right now. I'm about to fucking buy something, you fucking weirdo. You're a weirdo. I'm not a weirdo. You're 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 a weirdo. you are a weirdo 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 you are a Get up off my shit, bro. Get up off. You ain't gotta be on. Come on. Teresa, your neighbor. Hey. So, check this out. I've been noticing my packages have been missing for the past two weeks. So, I literally. Shut up. Yeah. Um, Is so. The Lord just left my doorway. Huh? I just ran a little boy from out in the hallway. Because he was playing in the hallway. He's going to be in school. I think he lives in that business. Yeah. So I've noticed this has been going on for about two weeks now. Mm -hmm. And I've been reporting them. Mm -hmm. So I purposely just put a package right here in front of my door. And I what? was just watching you. And you just picked that package up. So we're going to do one out of three things. You're going to replace every one of my packages no, that you've stolen. Or I'm going to call the police. I'll That's not the only one you've taken. And why did you take that? Can you put me in? I'll give you. You gonna give me every last package that you've stolen for the past two weeks, no, or I'm gonna report you to the front to the. The panties, no. the bra, and the stains. Yeah. So you know, so that means you have been stealing my packages. I don't have the other. I don't know what you're talking about. How y'all know what I'm talking about when you just mentioned what was missing? How did you know that bra and panties was missing? Cause I, can you come in? I have your stuff. Why do you have it though? I've. I apologize. 
Why do you apologize? I mean, because I should have done it. I'm, I was just... And what's crazy, it. when one of your packages got accidentally delivered to me out of common courtesy, yeah. I brought it over to you. But the whole time, you're still in my packages? And we're not even the same size, so why are you still in my drawers and my panties? I want every last thing. Okay, I got every it. last thing. And it wasn't just bras and panties. I had I bath that. and body works. Oh, I know. I don't, you come look on my dresser. Oh, house. so you saying somebody else stole that? I don't have that. You come look on my dresser. I don't want to come in your house. I'm not going to come in your I house unless the police is present. I don't, I don't know anything on any bad things. But that's really fucked up. I know it is. I'm fucked and I can either report you to police or to the front office to have your ass evicted. I could be a treacherous oh bitch God, because that's not right. You I don't just go I steal don't people's shit. I want all my shit. Okay. Literally, I want all my shit. I can't fucking believe this. I swear to God, this is over that I got. Please. And what was you going to do with it? I you done took it out the package. Have you worn it? These are drawers and panties. No. I don't think it's safe to wear this shit. I mean, you've been stealing for a minute. I thought that this was a scam. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. I apologize. You gotta Please be don't, shitting me. Don't get me in trouble. I apologize. And I'm gonna do it again. I promise you. But why should I have any type of sympathy on you? I know you shouldn't. I know you shouldn't. I want to do it again. I want to please don't please. I don't even know this. No, like, <laughs> you gotta be fucking shitting me. No. It don't make no fucking sense. I had to take off of work just to catch my neighbor stealing my shit. You don't understand how pissed I am right now. I'm going to give myself a minute to calm the fuck down, but I will speak to your sister about this shit as well, and I'll let you know what I decide to do with your ass after this. I'm not all about letting my people be set out and all that, but you just fucked me over for nothing. Go ahead about your business. But this ain't the end of this. I don't even want to hear your apology, but go ahead about your business. Around 1.30 Sunday morning, the state trooper pulled over Sharita Dixon Cole on suspicion of drunken driving. Now she tells the trooper she's coming from downtown Dallas where she only had one drink and she's driving to her fiance's house in Waxahachie. During a field sobriety test, the trooper pours out two bottles of alcohol he found in her back seat. He places Cole under arrest and asks her to sit in the front seat of his patrol vehicle. Well, this is the point when the woman says the trooper offered to let her go in return for sexual favors. But that exchange is never heard in the video. Cole also accused the officer of fondling, groping, and sexually assaulting her on the way to jail. But those claims also not supported by the video. Hours after her arrest, well-known civil rights activist Sean King wrote on Facebook and Twitter, this woman was kidnapped and raped by a Texas state trooper. King included a detailed explanation of the claims as explained by Cole and her attorney, Lee Merritt. Well, DPS responded to those accusations late last night by releasing that video in full. Cole tells us she had no idea of the rumors or allegations that were spreading online while she was still behind bars on that Sunday. She says she never okayed any publicity or even spoke to anyone aside from her then boyfriend. The story was told as if I provided it, as if I approved it, as if I wrote it, and I did not. The office did say in a statement that while in custody, she made, quote, detailed false claims about the trooper. Ms. Green, you've had your disagreements with Speaker Pelosi, isn't that right? I'm not sure what you mean. You've had political disagreements with her. You don't agree with some of the things she's done in her career, right? Politically speaking, that would be correct. Right. You don't agree with a lot of things she's done, right? Politically speaking, that would be correct. In fact, you think that Speaker Pelosi is a traitor to the country, right? Uh, you're, I'm not answering that question. It's speculation. It's you, you've, you've said that, haven't you, Ms. Green, that she's a traitor to the country? No, I haven't said that. Okay. 
Okay. Put up plaintiff's exhibit five, please. Oh, no, wait. Hold on now. I believe by not upholding the uh, sec securing the border that that violates her oath of office. Fair enough. I'm, I'm not interested in her oath of office. I'm interested in that you said that she's a traitor to our country. Ms. Green, right. I want to um, direct your attention to the bottom of the fourth page of the exhibit. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a paragraph that starts out, she's a traitor to our country. Do you see that? I object, Your Honor. What possible relevance could it be? that they, she had political disagreements that resulted in hyperbole that is commonly used. Your Honor, this is an argument. Over. Over. Next. Thank you. Um, I just want to ask a narrow question, Representative Green. Um, did you say, referring to Speaker Pelosi, she's a traitor to our country, she's guilty of treason, she took an oath to protect the American citizens, she gives aid and comfort to our enemies who illegally invade our land, that's what treason is, and our law representatives and senators can be kicked out and no longer serve in our government. And it's uh, a crime punishable by death is what treason is. Nancy Pelosi is guilty of treason. Did you say those words? I said, this is what I was telling you, is I, she doesn't uphold our laws. Uh, it's a simple yes or no question, ma'am. I mean, Did you say those answer. words? without being instructed by him to say yes or no. I don't agree, Your Honor. This is cross-examination. She's so entitled to an answer to my question, not a speech. Did you say these words that are quoted on the bottom of it? Did you say that? According to the CNN article I did, I don't remember. Do you recall saying? I don't recall saying all of this, but I do, I do recall having said this about the, I totally disagree with the border issues. Okay, and, and ask an answer. Next question. This was what she used. She became very adept at it. And you're going to hear the testimony from Amber about how she had to mix the different colors for the different days of the bruises. What up? John Killy? Hey, John, are you John Killy? John Killy? Yeah, John Killy. Aren't you the guy are selling the car? Guys? No, I don't know who you are. Oh, well, you're not John Killy? No. Okay, so, well, he contacted a guy named John Killy about this who car. Did? This guy. The car buyer gets out. Joe's ready to hit the road. I know you're Joe Yakinto. And you're running a scam here, Joe. Why don't you talk to me? We ain't running no scam. Okay, if you don't give me my keys back, we got a what problem. Are, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You Where'd you get this car? So here's a bunch of your cars. You say okay, your name's John Kelly, huh? right? You're you wrong, say your Joe. name is John Kelly. You're right. Okay. I don't know who you are. I'm Ron okay, Waltrick from Fox News. You do know who I am. Joe's busy trying to get away from one TV camera, and out comes another TV camera. Yep, Joe, your customer is a cameraman. I ain't telling you nothing. Oh, so uh, you just care. got nervous. Okay, so listen, Joe, we know you're you a fraud guy. I am, you got my keys, okay? 
Nobody's got your damn keys, dude. See you guys later, man. I don't okay. even know who you are. Well, well, here, let me give you a, 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 a key. You took money from a guy down river and you sold him a Lincoln MKZ. Okay, Here's my car. Wrong. Lincoln. You better close your door. Well, that ain't something you see every day. A dude driving away with his door open. Hey, Joe, what do you know? You're in the Hall of Shame. Signing total gibberish. This time, it was at the police news conference announcing an arrest in the Tampa serial killings. We will be charging four counts of first degree murder. Standing off to the side, apparently translating every word, this woman. We received over 5,000 tips in this case. But it turns out much of what she was signing was nonsense. She waved her arms around like she was singing jingle bells, says one outraged sign language expert. The woman, identified as Derlin Roberts, has a string of arrests for fraud. So how did she come to be translating at last week's high-profile police news conference? I just didn't ask enough questions. Tampa Police Public Information Officer Steve Hegarty told me the woman simply showed up out of the blue and offered her services.